Hello, it's Marco Matosh here from Mark on 3D, and today we're going to be dynamically animating this ponytail. Now, this character is from Real Illusions Character Creator 3. Amazing product, and I'm very grateful I've got it. Now, let's jump into it. So here you can see that we've got just a default animation. I just kind of wanted to have something that would emulate the physics. So let's stop that. Go back into frame one. I'm going to press three to go into side view. I'm going to put our cursor there. Control A, sorry, Shift A. Add in a plane. Go tab into edit mode. Rotate Y 90 degrees. I'm just going to scale that down a smidgen. From here, I'm going to parent this to our armature. So I'm just going to unhide the armature. Plane selected first, shift right click and then select the armature. Control P and I want to parent with empty groups. So at the moment, if I press play, nothing happens, which is fine. I'm going to select our plane here, but might as well hide the armature first. I'm going to select our plane, go tab into edit mode, come down into the vertex groups. I'm just going to sort this by alphabetical order and I'm going to assign this to our head. So there's our head vertex group, click assign, and now I can press play and we see that it moves around. Lovely, back to frame one. So now when I go tab into edit mode and object mode, you can see that it's offset it. And that's because that's just the relationship between the root bone and the head bone is different. So because this plane is taking all its information from the head bone, the head moves moving back. The same if I click the hair and then go tab into edit mode, you see it goes back the same distance. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select actually both of them and tab into edit mode. And then with this plane, control L, I'm just going to kind of trace uh, the hair around. What I actually might do is delete three points and delete vertices. I'm going to go like that and E to extrude, or I can actually control left click. And I'm going to trace around the hair. And then we come in here and we press F. Now what we can do is I can select, whoops, I can select these two vertices. And I should be able to just press F, 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 dang it. <laughs> Delete that one vertice, G, I'm just gonna move that in. So now we've got this. Let's just select that. I'm gonna recenter it a little bit. Actually, I can come all the way to the edge. E to extrude, like so. Let's put an edge loop in there um, and we might put one in here. I'm going to select this edge and just go GG. I can't really move it in much. Alt GG. Because we kind of want to encase everything inside this mesh. And so obviously this mesh now is very low poly. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to create another vertex group and I'm going to call this one, oops, double click on that and call it soft body. From here, I'm going to vertex paint this group. So I'm going to come into object. Let's go into weight paint. If I hold alt and drag down. So what it is, is this red part here is going to be kind of like what's pinned. And as we move down, kind of will become more and more floppier. Now I just want to make sure that we're not touching a bone there. We are touching a bit of um, this mesh. So let's come up back into object mode, select the hair as well and edit. And I'm gonna kind of bring this back as much as possible. I think that might be okay. So we might cheat with that a little bit. So let's now go back into this. And now that we've got our soft body vertex group set up, let's come into our physics and we'll enable soft body. We want our goal to be our vertex group, which we called soft body. And then you'll see now if I kind of let it go, it kind of really flops around everywhere. From here, we're gonna expand settings and stiffness will be one and dampening. I think I'll probably put up to about 40. And if I press play, you can kind of see that it's sway. It's not really bouncing anymore. Let's expand strengths and we'll bring that up to one as well. And hopefully now it kind of more stays in place. There we go. So you can see that it's a lot more, um, it's flowing now. So let's come back into the start. So now we've got our soft body looking very well. And then we come into the tricky part now. So I'm going to go into wireframe. I'm going to select our hair. 
Let's go tab to go into edit mode. Let's create a new vertex group called soft body hair. And then I'm going to select everything that I want to be kind of animating. Actually, I might select everything, control L to select everything linked C, and then I'll go middle mouse. And so these hairs here, I don't want animated. Now I can go to assigned, press tab to go into object mode. Let's go into our modifiers, add modifier, mesh the form and our object, which is this here, this soft body is what will be deforming our hair mesh and the vertex group with our soft body hair. We also need to click bind. So let's go solid mode. And then if we press play, it shouldn't work. Cool bananas. And that's because the hair is following the armature. So we need to go back into object mode, have the hair that we've just created. If we accidentally deselected it. So for instance, I don't have it selected. I can select soft body hair, select. What I'm then going to do is click on the vertex group for the head and we're going to click remove. And so what we've just done there is removed all these hair vertices to have anything to do with the armature because what's controlling the hair from moving is the head bone, which is obviously in the head. <laughs> but since we've removed the back of the hair, it is now no longer part of the armature. And let's press play and it didn't work. Lovely. So there's a few things that might have been the reason why that didn't work. Let's go back to frame one. We can see that this hair is kind of moved back. And obviously because we've removed the vertices from the head group, the vertex group, we'll see that this hair is now moved all the way back, which is where we kind of want this. So I'm just gonna move it back a little bit further. There we go. So now everything should be encased in our soft body. It's not, so I'm just gonna grab these. Let's just move these out a little bit more. And we can see that it's kind of working because those hair particles there are moving. So let's quickly just jump back onto the hair. I want to unbind for now. Let's come back into here, G to the X. And now we can go back into the hair, click bind. And also the other problem is, is that the mesh here the normals are facing the wrong way. So if I were to come up here into display, if I were to go into edit mode first, and then we came up here and enabled our normals view, we see that we can't see any lines other than that one. So I'm gonna press A to select everything, shift N to flip the normals. And now we know the normals are facing outwards, which is exactly what we wanted. One last thing that we need to do is click back on the hair into the modifiers and we need to unbind, enable dynamic, then bind. Now what I can do is I'm just gonna select our soft body, hide that, and then we can press play. Now I wonder why that is happening. Ah, so let me, what I'm just gonna do is I'm just gonna go into the soft body here make a setting and hopefully just clear the cache a little bit. So I'm just gonna bring that down, bring it back up. I can now hide that, press play. And you can see that the hair is moving, but it's going through the body. That's no good. Let's now fix that. So what I'm going to do is select our body mesh. I'm going to shift D to duplicate our body mesh. But the problem is, is I wanna put collisions on it, but it's too high poly. So if I go tab into edit mode, you can see that it is just crazy. Let me just turn off those normals. However, what I'm going to do is go add modifier. Let's go decimate. And I'm gonna go like 0.05. You can see how much the mesh has been de decimated. So it's removed quite a few faces. From here, I can't press apply just yet because there's shape keys. So I'm gonna come onto this body, go into the vertex groups, or um, we're gonna select our shape keys, select a different shape key, so not the bias, but everything else, drop down and let's go delete all shape keys. Now we can come back into the modifiers and we can go apply. So now that we've got this low poly body, let's come into our physics tab and we're gonna enable collision. And now that we've enabled the collision, I can press play and hopefully it'll just collide. It did not. Um, let's go alt H and see why that's not colliding. Ah, the reason why it's not colliding is because all the data down here is cached. So if I delete all bakes, nope. Let me just update something very quickly in the soft body. 
and then we press play we can see it kind of goes a bit crazy now the reason for that craziness is i think we're too close to our collision mesh so let's come back to our start select this we're going to select our um, collision body and we're going to change inner probably just down to zero and then from here hopefully if i press well I'll select that hide hopefully now if i press play we can see that it kind of sat on her back which is pretty good it kind of more squashed but that's looking pretty good. Let's go uh, Alt H, I wanna bring that back in. I think maybe I've got the stiffness, uh, the dampening too high. So maybe if we go to 25, it might flop around a little bit more. Um, let's go H to hide. All right, so that's not too bad. I think what our problem is, is that it's too red up here in the white paint. So I'm just going to go back into the start. Let's go into, whoops, Alt H to unhide this. Let's go into solid. Let's go into white paint. Come over here, Alt H, tab. Let's remove all that weight. So we want a little bit of body up here. Back into white paint. Hold Alt, click and drag that down. So something like that. Actually, I think I want those vertices in there so let's go alt and probably go maybe this way and then let's go back into object mode let's try and maybe keep its weight a little bit uh, back into the soft bodies let's come down and probably enable some stiffness maybe and i'm just going to hide that let's press play see what it kind of looks like <laughs> it's pretty stiff <laughs> so maybe not stiffness let's untick that so there we have it. That's not too bad. Um, it's more playing around with all the settings. Definitely probably in the next video, we will work on these little bits of hairs and make them kind of uh, shimmer a little bit. But at all in all, that's not too bad. I'm fairly chuffed with that. Um, if you don't want to render the second body, what we come up here is into filters. Let's enable our render. And I'm just going to turn that one off and also our soft body plane, we will turn off as well. Um, and we can just hide that as well. So if we go play now, ah, oh, geez. So unfortunately the soft body needs to be viewed in the viewport. Um, if you ever have any problems and need to reset the, uh, soft body, just go back into our soft body object, make an update and that'll clear the cache down here. If you found this video very helpful, please like and subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to build the channel. Apparently 68% of you aren't subscribed. Help me out, hit that subscribe button, and let me know in the comments below on what you think about this video.